Hello! Oh my, <clears throat> my god, voice just broke. Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. No, happy New Year. 2024. Oh my god, it's so nice to be back. I feel like I've been away for so long. I've missed you guys. I hope you had the most amazing Christmas break. Mine was good. It was filled with lots of food, um, lots of um, drink. Fudge knows what's going to happen this year. Um, I started today with exploding one of those little vitamin powder capsules into my eyes. So that was like a shock to the system. Because I enjoyed Vlogmas so much, and I feel like you guys did as well, I sometimes want to upload like weekly vlogs, so this is going to be my first one. Let me know what you think. And then I need to take the Christmas decorations down because it is the 6th of December. And yeah, I'm going to miss my balsam. Balsam, it has been an absolute pleasure. So I'm just jumping in to quickly let you know about HelloFresh. You guys know how much I love HelloFresh as a single person living on their own. HelloFresh makes my life so much easier. 2024, new year, back on board with my healthy routines. HelloFresh for me is always the way to go. I love you. I'm gonna be working with HelloFresh throughout the year, which is super exciting, thanks guys. I just get so much joy out of using HelloFresh. So I'm gonna to talk to you about HelloFresh a little bit more later. But for now, I wanted to let you know about the offer. So you can get 60% off your first box and then get 20% off the next two months and free gifts using my code. Also the QR code that you can use. I cannot wait to start making some amazing dinners. Also, my favorite flowers ever are back in season and my mum got me a little batch. I need to get a cute little vase. But yeah, daffodils are my absolute favorite and it feels like spring. I'm not wishing my life away, but I'm really happy about this. Also, every year she gets me like this big box of cleaning stuff, which I genuinely appreciate more than my mum will ever know. We're also gonna be putting up a side table, which is exciting. Going into 2024, I wanna be less chaotic with my stuff. I wanna like keep things at least a little bit neat for at least until February. <laughs> Guys, song of the absolute year. God, this song speaks to me so much. You've gotta listen. Um, so it's Missing Me by Sodi. Check it out. You so I have some news. I am joining a um, a walking club. So basically what it is, is like every weekend, this free walking club um, puts on their Instagram. They post where they're gonna be, where they're gonna meet, like every weekend. And you just join this group and you walk with them. I'm not a runner. I will never be a runner. I'm not a sporty person. Love people who can really fully immerse themselves into sport and running. Wish I could, but I can't. Um, so I'm a walker. I absolutely love walker. <laughs> I love walking, says the guy who's just driving to a new calf five minutes up the road. But I'm also going to my parents after this. So yeah, I'm really excited. I can't do it for the next two weekends because I'm busy. But I'm genuinely going to start and I'm so excited. I've also really missed my early mornings. Obviously, I deserve like a little relax time um, as everyone does, even though considering what I do, I'm fully aware. Some days you just don't want to look at yourself, to be honest. And by the end of Vlogmas, even though I had so much fun, I am sick of this. I was sick of the sight of my face. Editing my mug every day. Oh. Yeah, I'm just happy to be back, refreshed, ready for the new year, um, and yeah, just see what the new year brings. Also, I feel like I'm gonna be quite savage this year in terms of like, what I accept into my life. Now, I don't wanna be preachy, I know. First of all, like I've said millions of times, I love to be inspired by people, but there was a time in my life where I really, really did unhealthily compare myself to other people's journeys. And I feel like to be inspired by someone is the best thing in the world. But if it's making you sad, then you've got to remove it. And I feel like for so long I'd be like pitting myself up against these other people online, whether it be by how they look, how their body looks, um, any little thing. It could have been anything. And yeah, it was making me sad and I was just like, no, because that's not fair. That's not fair on you. That's not fair on the life that you've been given, and it's not it's not fair on like my mum and dad because they they made me. Do you know what I mean? I feel bad for them. <laughs> I've come so so far in like confidence and everything like that, but I don't know. Just moving into this year, I like 
I just, I don't want to see anything like that's just gonna like bring me down. Just like, it's just certain types of content online that I just don't wish to consume anymore because, um, yeah, I don't know, it just like brings me down mentally. And I feel like you just, it's not a bad thing to put yourself first and be like, do you know what? This content that I'm viewing isn't helping my mind and it's not adding to anything. So I'm just gonna either mute, unfollow, or if you have to, bloop. Um, so yeah, I would never block anyone for like living their life harmlessly. So mute and unfollow. Um, yeah, and that's great. But no, I feel really good. I can't wait for my walking club. I'm just hopefully gonna meet the love of my life um, because, no I don't. Where's the calf? Oh, it's there. Oh my God. There it is, is it open? No, it's not. If not, there's another coffee place we can go to, but I just wanted to check out a new place. Okay guys, so I went and checked and it doesn't open until 10 a.m., which is absolutely fine, Tuesday to Friday. Tuesday to Friday, 10 a.m. till, I can't remember what, what time it shuts. But yeah, it looks so amazing. I think I'm gonna park down here when I come back. I'm gonna go to my parents' house because I need to collect my Christmas boxes and start packing away the dreamy Christmas bits. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Everyone's missed you. Oh, everyone's missed you. Say hello. Give everyone a kiss. <laughs> oh, good girl. Who sees? <laughs> oh, thank you. Nutted me. Yeah. Be nice. Let me breathe. <laughs> She'd literally let me do this all day, wouldn't she? <laughs> you're so cute. Oh, you're the cutest puppy. So guys, unfortunately, so strange. It's like half, well, it's almost quarter to 11. And the place is still shut. So I don't think that's gonna work out for us today. But I'm also gonna try a new cafe that I have never been to before today. Um, just for a quick little coffee. Guys, that was so lovely. I really enjoyed that. That um, almond croissant sort of thing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was really good. Found a new spot. I feel like I found a new spot in there. Yeah, I really like that. And also, like, the almond croissant sort of thing. Yeah, it's, it's pastries. Yeah, will it upset my stomach? Maybe. But especially over Christmas, like, I really push myself to just, like, because I'm not allergic to anything, but I know what makes my tummy feel good. Now this is what you call a balancing act. No idea how I managed to do this in the lift of doom. But we made it. Guys, I can't tell you how sad I am to be taken down the tree. Just once again, I'm probably the company and all watching, but this was a gifted tree with ornaments. I feel like the luckiest gill. The fact that they even thought, <laughs> especially with these mittens, um, honestly, I've never seen a more beautiful tree and it was an absolute pleasure to have it in my flat and I can't wait to put it up again next year. So I'm gonna take off the baubles and put it away. Do I have to take it down? I mean, if it does the job, it does the job, guys. <laughs> guys, it's not the same. There's a lot going on here. Thank God, my dad has a new shed. He's the cutest, letting me store everything. I don't like it, guys. Cannot wait for the new side table. Oh, where's my balsam? <laughs> I miss you. Guys, I made dippy eggs. Look how cute. I love it. I bought a new piece of wall art from Oliver Bonner, so I just feel like this screams me. Progress, not perfection. 
This is for you guys if you need it right now in this moment. Um, it's always going to be for me when I have a bath in here or any guest who uses this bathroom. Um, yeah, I just love this. Then in here, and it's quilted. It's quilted and it says love. Just simple and effective and I just love it. I just said on my Instagram that I feel like I manifest love through my art <laughs> and pretty much all of my art pieces are art pieces. I don't know. All of my art frames are from um, Oliver Bonner. So guys, it's dinner time. If you can hear someone shouting outside, um, there's a man shouting um, about some stuff that I can't really work out. But as long as he's okay and everyone else involved is okay. So, like I said, we've got HelloFresh for dinner, for dinner, for tonight. My favourite thing in the entire world, like I said, it is so mark friendly. Each week, two weeks, month, whenever you want, you can have fresh, amazing ingredients delivered to your door. Ooh, hurt my teeth. They come with very, very simple, easy, amazing, step-by-step -step, um, recipes. This week, I've gone for the hoisin beef tacos, the Cajun barbecue chicken rice bowl, and the spiced chicken and pepper stew. Incredible stuff. And they send you absolutely everything you need right down to a grain of salt. Salt, salt. I don't think I've ever said salt before. So tonight for dinner, I think I'm going to have the hoisin beef tacos. Each individual recipe comes in a perfectly organized bag. Everything you need. I know a lot of you guys like it. I know a lot of my friends and family use it. As always, everything you need to know is in the description box as well. So make sure to use my code and or use the QR code to get 60% off your first box and then 20% off for the next two months and some free gifts. Oh, I've forgotten to take this off, oops. But here we go, how nice. The hoisin beef tacos, yum, yum, yum. Good evening, guys, whoa. I've turned into one of my disco balls. So how are we doing? Tonight I am off to a labyrinth, you know, one of my favorite films, David Bowie. Um, Clapham Grand again, genuinely the place to be. Is, host, is hosting like a 70s, 80s disco night, but also like a watch along, sing along. So when I saw it last year, I was like, guys, a couple of my friends, I was like, please, please can we go to this? So me and a few friends are gonna go and um, experience tonight. I've never been to like a watch along before. Maybe I have, I'm not sure, but I'm so excited. The Clapham Grant, honestly, throw some of the best nights. Obviously, in uh, December, we went to the old school rock night, rock pop night, best night of my entire life. Um, so yeah, I've been really keeping a close eye on what other events Clapham Grand, Grand has to offer. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. I'm gonna bring you guys along. Um, I'm gonna take my phone, I won't take my camera because I don't wanna lose it. Hey, Labyrinth is one of my favorite films. I remember a couple of years ago, I threw a party for my friend and her one of her favorite childhood films is Labyrinth and she loves David Bowie. So we did like a drinking game and all that sort of stuff and one of my other friends had never seen it. So watching it as an adult, it is super strange. It is such a weird, weird, unique film. So seeing her reaction was priceless because she was like, what the hell is going on? But if you grew up with it, uh, it is part of your childhood, then you'll definitely know. And yeah, it is one of my favorite films and I cannot wait. And I thought because it's like a glitter ball sort of thing, I thought I'd wear this. Um, so yeah, I think this is nice and, nice and sparkly. I've got this from ASOS.
DIY day where you're gonna be putting up a new side cabinet. All this clutter under here and hiding it all away. And then potentially moving this table over here. Order of today is to see if we can get back into that new coffee shop, see if it's open. Um, I need to print off two photos with two new frames and go to my parents, drop the Christmas trees off, pick up the cabinet and get on with DIY. Yay guys, it's open. I'm so excited, I just drove past it and I was just like, yes, it's finally open. And the sun is shining. We've got some winter sun. This is like a new place that I can go and chill and relax, maybe do some work. Cute. Really, really cute in there. Just somewhere nice, it was really peaceful. It's gonna be one of those places where I don't think that many people um, know about. Yeah, it was nice. I just put out on um, my Instagram what you guys wanna see more of on social media and what you wanna see less of on social media. Um, and I feel like if I'm putting it out, I need to say what I think as well. And I've spoken about this millions of times and I always get so sad, but like, 2014 to 20 like 18 i feel like was the best era ever for social media i i just wish we could go back to that sort of time i don't know i just feel like there's just so much drama and like drama podcasts and drama channels and drama tiktoks and yeah we all love a bit of drama don't get me wrong i love made chelsea love towie big fan I don't know. I just, I want to see less of that. I want to see less of like something happening between like, for example, like two YouTubers and then the next week one of them goes on like a podcast and they're like rowing. And this is no shade. It's just not my, it's not my thing. And that's fine. It's, it's obviously they're super popular. So they've got to be some people's things. And that's not me shitting on anything. I don't know. It's just... I just feel like when you consume so much like drama of he said, she said, they said, it's, it can have quite a negative effect. And I know for a fact that if I'm consuming like drama channels or drama content, it has like such a negative effect on my mental health. Like I just feel like the last few years have been very like toxic on social media. I just wish people would focus on like trying to make social media a better place rather than um, like causing more problems. I don't know. I don't know. It's just because I, when I started YouTube and what I wanted to get from YouTube was being like really authentic, everyday guy, documenting his wonderfully wacky, but also normal, whatever normal is, normal life. And I don't know. It just makes me sad, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts. That's my thing. I just want to bring it back to how it was years ago. Here it is, guys. Oh my God, this is one of the heaviest parcels or deliveries ever. Oh my God, I struggled so much getting this anywhere. Oh my God. Oh, no. Ow. My trusty trolley now has the wheel fixed. Stanley knife that I got ID for. Need to steam my floor. It's so dirty. Wish me luck. Oh, no. 
Guys, change of plan. Oh my god, it just fits. Oh, I need to hoover that. Because it's a little bit, Alexa, start please. Because it's a little bit thinner and a little bit lower than I anticipated, I'm going to keep that there. But then transfer all of this mess in here. I'm so happy with it. Like I always say on this channel, it looks so much better in real life. And I want to get like a lamp. Oh my god, I love it. Okay. Trust the process, friends. Trust the process. Hiding all my games away. Oh, yes. Oh my god, yes. Finally, I can hide everything away. Maybe I'll put them all on one shelf. I cannot tell you how happy this makes me. <laughs> Like I said, it looks so much better in real life, but what do we think? I'm so happy with it. Just to give you a rough idea, we've got some bric-a-brac in there. We've got my games um, for like nights and stuff. Some bits and bobs in there. Um, got my British LGBT award for online influencer. Woohoo! I still can't believe I, I won that. Um, a little lamp that I got that I don't use in the living room. Um, a, a poor print of Teddy, <laughs> which I think is the cutest thing in the world. Um, these two frames. So I replaced a frame that was, that used to be over here. Because the frame had been broken literally since I bought it. So I replaced it with that. And then I'm going to go to Boots tomorrow to print off a photo of me, my friend Essen and Joe and put that there. I've got a little vase of daffodils, oh, which I just love. Um, this is the rhubarb. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> this is the Jasmine and Pineapple Room Diffuser. These are currently on sale in Sainsbury's. And, oh, my God, it genuinely just... It's just getting me in the mood for summer and spring. So, I've got that there. So, down here on the second one, this is what Alfie bought me years ago, um, which I just absolutely love. It's like, yeah, it's like a an actual edition of... I can't remember the artist, but yeah, Alfie bought me this years ago and I just, oh my God, I just love it. This is the book that Zoe made me, obviously, keeping it there, easy reach. Um, this is the, the the fifth volume of Heartstopper that I haven't read yet, um, but if I go away at all, I'm definitely going to take it. This, <laughs> this is basically part of a Halloween mug that my friend Essen bought me for my birthday, um, but I can't fit it in the cupboard, but I just thought this is just the perfect place to put it. Um, this is... Um, this is like a, a wood essence, uh, burning thing from Kaolai. Um, Zoe gave me this, which is very sweet of her. And the, the wood chips are in here. Just smells amazing. Um, these are two of my favourite ever positivity books, all on the board. All on the board. Um, that Instagram account from like the underground station. Little candle from Sainsbury's. These two little angels, which I've just noticed. This one looks like she's swearing. Um, I'm pretty sure she's not. These were my aunts, and these were two things that I just always remember. As they were always just on the side of my aunt's house, so I really wanted to keep them for myself. Matches, and then... This is a candle that my aunt actually gave me. Um, this is like proper retro candle. This is like from the... Oh! Oh no. Damn it. This is... <laughs> that was from the 70s. I think this is like from the 60s or the 70s. We we'll just keep it, keep it that way. Um, and I just love that. And she was throwing it away. I need to hoover. I'm so sorry. Um, she was throwing it away and I was like, oh no, I have that, I have that. This is like a lips phone that I just thought was really cool. I got this off Amazon. Obviously, I'm not using it, but I just think it looks cool. And then the book that I still haven't read, but if I if I said if I go away this year, I definitely want to read that. Uh, the Midnight Library, and there is a little book here called Good Grief. I'm so impressed by it. In real life, it just looks great. And obviously, I don't know, maybe one day down the line, I'll have to sort and get, get another one of these cabinets to like hide all these wires. Um, I just thought over there, that over here would have been too small. But yeah, for now, this works perfectly. I'm going to do a little job at hiding these wires. But no, I'm really impressed. I changed over my Christmas runner. 
And yeah, no, I, I really like it. I just, it's so strange. I can't tell you how much better it looks in real life. It just looks really odd on, on camera, but no, it looks all good in real life. Hey guys, how are you doing? So I'm just gonna end this vlog here, but I've just gotta let you know, if you have a chance to go and see the witches in the National Theatre on South Bank? Bankman? The Royal National Theatre. Yeah, I think it's South Bank. Oh my God, me and my friend just came out of there. It was one of the, I'm not just saying this because I have the witches in my heart forever and ever, but you know what I'm like when it comes to like adaptions or remakes or anything like that, of anything that I hold true to my heart, um, especially when it comes to my childhood. Oh my God, it was one of the best shows I've ever, ever seen. It was so funny, the music was incredible, the special effects, just how they did it, it was one of the most incredible shows I've ever seen. Unfortunately, which surprised me, it runs out on the 27th of January, but if you have the chance to go see it in London, holy smokes, I couldn't recommend it more. It was one of the best things I've ever seen. It was so, so, so good. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to go watch the fourth episode of The Traitors. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you enjoyed this. And let me know in the comments, obviously, if you want to see more weekly vlogs like this, just like what I do and just like compact it into one vlog. I love you so much and I will see you very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>